but today's topic is spermatogenesis and the factors and hormones influencing it so what is spermatogenesis it is a process by which new spermatozoa are produced from the spermatogonia spermatogonia are the primordials of the germ cells in humans it takes an average of 64 to 74 days this is on an average and do remember one more thing from one spermatogonia at the end after spermatogenesis total 64 spermatids are forms okay so now comes the phases of spermatogenesis this might come as a short note there are two phases first of all there are two types of spermatogonia type a and type b type b are concerned with cell renewal and type a are concerned with the production of sperms now there are three phases of spermatogenesis spermatogenesis will be divided into three phases phase one the type of spermatogonia that is deployed undergo mitosis to produce type b spermatogonia and this type b spermatogonia with and which undergo further mitosis to produce primary spermatocyte and do remember that the primary spermatocyte is deployed okay now phase two phase two of uh, spermatogenesis here the primary spermatocyte that is a deployed form undergoes meiosis and this process is known as spermatocytogenesis and they produce secondary spermatocyte okay so and secondary spermatocyte further undergo meiosis to produce spermatid and this is also deployed a haploid so one cell one primary spermatocyte will undergo meiosis to produce two secondary spermatocyte and each of them will undergo meiosis to produce total four spermatid okay now comes phase three here the spermatid that is the haploid content undergoes spermiogenesis it's a process i'll explain later by this spermiogenesis they get converted into spermatozoons now what is spermiogenesis spermiogenesis is conversion of spermatid to sperms okay it means the spermatid is immature form this is immature form and this spermatozoo this is mature form now spermiogenesis the conversion of spermatid to sperm this is the mature form it takes place within the cytoplasm of sertoli cells do remember cytoplasm of sertoli cell i'll come later what is sertoli cell depends on the presence of androgen if androgens for example testosterone is absent then spermiogenesis will not occur this leads to absence of spermiogenesis okay now comes the factors influencing spermiogenesis there are certain factors which influence spermiogenesis and they are high concentration of testosterone this is really necessary for germ cell division secondary LH or the luteinizing hormone from anterior pituitary it stimulates the lytic cell and lytic cell secretes testosterone this testosterone has positive effect on spermatogenesis then FSH from anterior pituitary it stimulates the sertoli cell and sertoli cells produces androgen binding protein androgen binding protein is the function of androgen binding protein is it increases the local concentration of testosterone now in sertoli cell one more thing happens that the spermatids gets converted into sperms this also helps in spermatogenesis next the growth hormone promotes early division of spermatogonia itself sertoli cells secrete androgen binding protein inhibin mif means mullerian inhibitory factor i'll come later what is this and they do not synthesize androgen but they contain aromatase this enzyme is necessary for conversion of androgen to estrogen and estrogen in terms also helps in spermatogenesis how i'll tell again this in later section about the hormones okay i'm telling the estrogen are present 
in you know, they are uh, secreted by sertoli cells but specifically in the retitestis area region the estrogen helps in concentration of the uh, sperm fluid next certain vitamins like e c vitamin b12 are also required for normal spermatogenesis and several other general factors such as temperature optimum temperature is 32 degrees celsius radiation it degenerates the seminiferous tubules right thank you for watching until next time guys